there. We've got no, no. Chris in Izigowski, BSc, PhD. How many qualifications have you got, Noel Fielding? Oh, too many. I've looked at the end of your name. Two. All there is is ING. <laughs> That's it. No proper letters there. We've got him. He was supposed to be a sleep expert last week. He never even had the common decency to answer his phone. He was quite literally, well, we some say he was napping. <laughs> napping. And if we, we'll find out what he was dreaming, Noel, and then you will analyse that dream and we'll get some bloody truth out of this I'll situation. I'll him up in the circles. Yeah, tie him up. Do you like of him? Mess with him. You know, oh, well. yeah, go, go to town. Flick him around the room. <laughs> flick him around the room. <laughs> like a light ping pong ball. Do that. <laughs> a ping pong ball, I've got no respect for it, because if you put it out on a hairdryer and blow it upward, what's it do? It just goes with the flow, doesn't it? It's got no sense of itself. It never tries to defy <laughs> the hairdryer. goes, I'm making a stand. <laughs> Me and gravity have got a pact. Just does what the hairdryer says. Oh, yeah. Does the hairdryer's bidding? <laughs> Is the hairdryer's... I don't like to swear on the radio. Yes, but the hairdryer's... I nearly he said whore. We'd have to say whore on the road. We've here. said it now. Well, this is it, Wogan. This is what you brought us to with your stinking <laughs> wretched charisma. We are talking about beetle rape. Not in the sense of the McCartney divorce trial. No. <laughs> but of actual beetles raping each other. Little beetles. Last week we spoke of a species of male beetle. He goes around. <laughs> the producer looks worried. <laughs> male beetles that rape girl <laughs> beetles to get Baby Beatles born, no. I don't no know what way. you're going to make out. It's the Beetle happens. rape. Beetle rape is what we're talking about. Mm. That's gonna, we're we're going to talk about that later. Just as soon as you finish your effing pineapple. Are they what? the only insects that rape? Uh, well, actually, that is something else. One of your... What are you talking about? Hold on, that? Noel, right? This is another <laughs> item you could do. Right. Noel Fielding is a dream expert <laughs> and insect rape expert. <laughs> he will answer any questions you might or might not have about ra insect rape. We're going to get you. You're going to... Okay. Oh, this is going to be a hell of a show. I'm, I'm not good... discussing hmm? paedophile grasshoppers, though. Paedophile grasshoppers? We can build towards it, mate, <laughs> if you wanna. We can build towards paedophile... we work up to that? Yeah, because, uh, to say the truth, right, if there are paedophile grasshoppers, Good luck to them, because I've got no sympathy for child grasshoppers. Don't have sex with human also, children. But... When you see a grasshopper, how do you even know if it's a child or an adult? You don't <laughs> even care, do It's you? a mistake I've made. I've had a lot of problems in the past, because I thought a grasshopper was above age. Before I know it, I'm in it, right? I'm kissing it, I'm holding it. Then it turns around at me, looks at me with, like, onyx yeah, eyes and sweet. says, I'm 12. <laughs> I go, Gra oh, but it's a grasshopper. It's a grasshopper. Someone so... just added us a piece of paper that just says no, simply. A piece of paper, it says simply no. Well, yes, this is well. Well, we can only assume that that's good news. It's Kirsten. Hello, lovelies. I emailed earlier about mad dreams to, uh, and how to get them via legal non-prescription drugs. I suggest Noel joins me in an experiment to find out about the best dreams. This is from Kirsten. Well, she, it sounds to me like she's trying to get you to take sanctioned drugs. Who is it? Kirsten Dunst? It might be. I don't know. I mean, she's called Kirsten. We can only assume it's only know Kirsten one, Dunst. Kirsten. That's the one, then. It's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> Kirsten Dunst out of Spider-Man. <laughs> right, OK, well, we'll try and do that. Now, Noel, you're allowed some musical selections. As we're aware that you're a fan of Gary Newman, our friends Electric will be played at some point. What are we playing now? Are we playing the Smiths now? Right, OK, so call us if you want to talk to Dream Dr Noel, if you want to talk to the sleep expert whose field of expertise is a subset of Noel's own dream expertise, then you can do that. Also, later on, we're going to talk to a man who plans to cleanse our country of grey squirrels. He is a squirrel racist. A squirrel cleanser. <clears throat> He's a squirrel cleanser. He's quite a city. He wants to enact a squirrel holocaust. <laughs> He's taken them out. He's taken them out. He's already started. He killed one on his washing line. It said in an article. <laughs> With sort of... his washing line. I don't know. I mean, oh, on his washing line. The, the, the squirrel was on the washing line, and I suppose the washing line contributed to the death in a way because the squirrel had to fall off of it. Yeah. So, in a way, that would have exacerbated the death. Was Although, he doing some kind of tightrope act? <laughs> what was going on? Though? I like to think, no, that the squirrel was a high-class circus performer, <laughs> making its death all the more tragic. Yeah. Okay. So let's listen to the boy with the fawn in his side, the Smiths, and later, guess who's visiting on this program? Courtney Love is going to turn up here. Have we She's got to pop in? She's popping in with the heir to the Guinness fortune. Have, what have you got? Have you got, have you got a bit of music, right? Because I was thinking that every time we say Courtney Love's name, we should have a bit of music. And here is that bit of music. Have you done it, Nick? Nick, our producer, who's running the desk in the absence of Matt He's Morgan. He's got monkey fingers. He'll never do it. Look at his monkey fingers jabbing at that screen. Get him. Preposterous. Oh, we're going to do it after the track. Oh, he's an insomniac, which is the only reason he's hooked us up with a sleep expert. He's using this show. Really? As a, yeah, to solve his own problems in life. He's he a, doesn't look like an insomniac. Well, he is one, mate. He's really healthy. He looks... He's radiating He's been beauty. lying to us. <laughs> You're he's not sleep. even an insomniac. You don't he's sleeping like... when I came in. <laughs> he was asleep when you arrived. You're curled up like a <laughs> white kitten. <laughs> <laughs> he's meant to be welcoming you. Not there like a little albino. 
<laughs> you sickened me. Let's listen to the boy with the horn in his side. <laughs> The BBC Radio 2, this is the Russell Brand Show. That was the Smiths boy with a phone in his side. I'm here, of course, with Noel Fielding. He is a dream expert. You can call him if you want to with any dream inquiries. Are you all right, Noel? Oh, I'm pretty strong. What have you been thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> Just what, lately, life, you know? generally. Yeah, what's playing on your mind? I was thinking about one of my mates, actually, who said that he, he's never had a dream, or if he has, he can't remember what it was. And I just thought, how can you never have a dream? Yeah. So I just hit him with a stick. Yeah, well, don't Clubbed tolerate that. You remind me very much of the Chinese government, the way you were oppressing <laughs> that, mate, the way the Chinese government have been yeah. oppressing the people of Tibet. Get out <laughs> of Tibet! We've been campaigning for quite a while now to get China out of Tibet. Really? Still there. Still there. They're just like they don't give. Uh, I mean, it's I like don't swear. Not even it's like they're not Right, yes. It's like they're that's... not getting your faxes. <laughs> it's like they're not getting them. Fax after text. fax. Text. <laughs> Wasted text. SMSs. <laughs> I've been sending them and they're not getting my SMS messages. You no? want to maybe send someone over? Yeah, who should we in send? In soft slippers and a big hat. Just someone with soft slippers. Who can Keep dance it... into their company. <laughs> just dance into it and then just sort of infiltrate with my message yeah. and get out of Tibet. And then slip away in the slip night. Slip away. There's no need for it to cause a scene. And let that message dawn on them when he's gone. <laughs> when they'll, they'll, they'll have gone, and suddenly they'll think, what the hell are we doing here in Tibet? All these people don't seem to want us here, and yet here we are, just because of strategic military conditions and positioning. Let's go. Probably something like that, do you reckon? Yeah, that'll work. Now, you earlier, Noel, expressed a great deal of hatred towards Chris <laughs> Idizikowski, sleep yeah. expert, because you said that he reduced you and your expertise in the field of dreams, which is a film by Kevin Costner, in which a baseball field gets made out of some dreams, I believe. <laughs> Unless I've misunderstood the plot. <laughs> Kevin Costner tipped his head sideways, a dream fell out, it was a baseball field. Everyone very happy. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Now, you are an expert in the field of I dreams. Know, I know you said a dream fell out of his head. Head. Yeah, Costner, his head's all loose. Full of <laughs> dreams coming all out of his head. Yeah, Dance of the Wolves fell out one year, kicked that out of he's his little like brain. He's like a handheld shower, isn't he? Just dreams pouring out. Yeah, of his head. just like that. Girls, a surprising number of girls use <laughs> handheld showers to masturbate. Girls, you don't know. We know. We know. We know <laughs> what you're doing with those handheld showers. And if you're not careful, some of Kevin's dreams will come out and go right up here. <laughs> I'm gonna be filled with Kevin Costner's <laughs> dreams. Nine months time. You'll give birth to Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> Robin Hood, he's a prince among thieves. That's that not is good. the worst Robin Hood haircut in See, the history Robin of Robin Hood. Robin hair. And why has <laughs> no. Morgan Freeman been brought back all mystical walking around? <laughs> None <laughs> of it makes sense. Useless, apart from that big catapult that I'll was you, in the Brian Adams video. The Brian Adams catapult was the only thing about that it's film. It's a big spoon, wasn't it? A salad spoon. It's a dirty great salad spoon I catapulting. I don't even remember, but I've got a feeling he curled himself up in a ball and shot himself like, it, like it, an it, ice hockey puck <laughs> through the air. <laughs> It was Did very much like uh, Nick the Insomniac <laughs> curled up like a white albino kitten. Pretending he doesn't Pretending sleep Pretending to be an insomniac. But oh, no. he said, oh, no, last time I slept, it was when Tiger Feet was top of the charts. <laughs> He's done nothing but sleep. When you Noel Fielding arrived, he was sleeping. Sleeping, just curling up his toes. In his that, little PJs. Should, little PJs. Should we talk to sleep expert Chris Idiosyncraticowski, head of the Sleep Centre in Edinburgh? Yeah. Chris, are you there, mate? I am. <laughs> Chris, thank God you've come. Now, why the hell is it that last week when we summoned you, you betrayed us by not being there when we needed you? I was on a plane. You were on a plane. That is a yeah. thin, weedy you, excuse. You wanted to record me. <laughs> the timing was that got the wrong time. Did you get our answer phone message? Because we were furious. Uh, I certainly did. <laughs> yeah. I, I said I wasn't coming on to the show unless I got an apology. All right. Well, I would like to issue an apology, but I'm still fuming about like the way you've treated me. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, I feel like I've been swindled, cheated. I feel like I've been cups from behind. I think you. I feel like you, you give me a little drowsy reach you, round. You may feel. You may feel that way in the next five minutes, but you shouldn't feel that. Yet. <laughs> mm, Chris, you're very saucy. You've now, got to build yourself up, Chris. At the moment, you're way down there with Costner. <laughs> you're 